Hi guys, when we submit a form using Ajax, we get the form data and send it as an Ajax request to the server. A PHP program at the server inserts the data into a database table and sends the response back to the browser. All these works are done without reloading or refreshing the web page. In this video, I will show how you can create a form using Bootstrap and write jQuery Ajax script to submit the form. So let's develop it. I am in XAMPP htdocs folder. Here I will create a new folder for this project. Let's call it Ajax form. Go to this folder, type cmd and here I will open it in Visual Studio code. So code dot. So let's create a new file index.php. Type exclamation and press tab. So we'll get the HTML boilerplate here. Change the title. Ajax form submit in PHP. We'll use bootstrap 5 here. So we'll get it from CDN. Type get bootstrap. And here get bootstrap.com. And you will see bootstrap 5 CSS here. Copy it. And we will paste it here. We do not need this for our local implementation. Let's add a div with container class. Give an h1. Just copy this. We will create a simple form here with name, email and address fields. We will use bootstrap input. Let us give name, name, we don't need this placeholder add enter name remove this and just copy this and this will be our email so we created name input field as type text and then we created an email input field. This is also type equal to text. And now we will create a text area for the address field. We will use bootstrap 5 text area address name equal to address id equal to address. Now let us add a submit button. Bootstrap 5. So let's just check. We give localhost Ajax form. So you can see the form is displayed here. So let us add a little bit CSS to make it look better. So we'll add our custom style sheet here. We'll create a folder CSS. Under that we'll have style.css. So let us create the folder style.css. So we'll add some style here. Let us make the width 50% margin auto so that it will be centered and then give text align center. And we'll also add some CSS for the form. So we'll add a border, 1px solid. Let us give black color for the border as of now. And then give a border radius, 10px. And give a padding. So let us refresh it. And we'll change the border color now.
Okay. Let us make the labels bold. We will add a class for the labels. We will use bootstrap class font weight bold for all the labels. refresh it okay so our form is ready now let us add the jquery script here so to run the ajax since we will be writing jquery script we will be adding jquery library first so let us add the jquery library from cdn just type jquery cdn releases.jquery.com and take the first one version 3.7.1 and take the minified one copy and paste it here again you can remove so we will now write ajax when the form is submitted that means when the submit button is clicked we will write our ajax script so let us write that dollar document dot on now we will use submit event let us give an id to the form id equal to let's give it as user form user form so we will use this here in our jquery script and give hash before that then write the callback function and give the event as parameter at the beginning you have to give e dot prevent default since we are using ajax we don't want form to be submitted as soon as submit button is clicked so that is why we are using e dot prevent default here so that form will not be submitted instead we will be writing ajax script to submit the form now write dollar dot ajax so now we have to write the parameter for the ajax and the first parameter is type we will use post method here so type is post and then give url as let us give let us give a new php program we have to write a new php program for this let us give the name as process form dot php and give the data data parameter we have to give the values for all the inputs in the form so we'll use dollar this which means the form dot use serialize method which will give you the values of form input fields in the form of an array of string and then give data type data type as text data type of the response is the text and then give success in the success we will write a function and in the function we will get the response from the ajax so let us give response for testing purpose let us just give alert response for the time being so now we will write process form dot php so create a new file here process form dot php so let us just give an echo here ajax success just for testing purpose only let us give this ajax success now let's run it so refresh it so if i click on submit ajax success so our ajax is working fine so if you see here so far we have not used any php script here we have just written the html and jquery ajax script and in the process form we have to now write php script to insert the form data into the database table so first let us create a table in mysql database we will use test database in mysql let us create the table here we will give the table name as users create 
আইডি নেম ইমেল অ্যান্ড অ্যাড্রেস আইডি ইন্টিজার নেম ভ্যার ক্যার ইমেল ভ্যার ক্যার অ্যান্ড অ্যাড্রেস ভ্যার ক্যার টু ফিফটি let us give 255 here and click on save button to create the table now for the id we will make id as primary key and then we will change it to auto increment so check box so check this auto increment save it and we will make email as unique email so click on unique so we will not allow duplicate email in this table so table is created now go to this process form dot php we will remove this to access the database we need to connect to the database first we will create a new folder new folder called cfg and within this we will create a new file db connect dot php So we'll write PHP script to connect to the database. Let us use dollar connect equal to we'll use new MySQLi and the first parameter is server which is local host and then the second parameter is user ID. So we'll use root user and there is no password for this user and we'll use test database. we will check whether connection is successful or not so we write if dollar connect connect error in case there is any error we do not want to proceed we will stop the program here because we need the database connection for this application so we will use die here and then give the message db connection failed and then give the error message give a space here okay so in case of successful connection we just give a message here echo connection is okay so just for testing purpose only i am giving echo here and so that we can see that connection is successful okay now what we will do in process form.php will include this dbconnect.php give folder cfg slash dbconnect.php so let us test it now refresh it click on submit it says connection is okay so database connection is fine so now we will write php script to get the data from the form and insert the data into users table so let us use dollar name equal to dollar underscore post and we have name field if you see in the form we have name and then email and then address change it address and if you see in the ajax script we are using serialize method which will actually give the form values in an array so we will use this just copy and change it to email and then address so now we will write an sql statement insert statement into users table insert into users give the column name and then values so column names are name email and address so we will not give direct values here instead we will use placeholder so we will give question mark and we will use prepared statement so let us use dollar statement equal to now the connection variable is dollar connect 
So if you see dbconnect.php, we have dollar c o n n. So dollar connect use prepare, and within the prepare method, we need to give the SQL statement which we have already written. So give dollar SQL, and now we need to bind the parameters. So here we have given the placeholders. So now we have to supply the values for this placeholder. So we will use bind param method, and here we need to give the data type for each of these variables and give the values. So we'll take these three values So these are the three values and if you see the data type they are all string variables so we give SSS and then execute it So once it is executed data will be inserted into the table so, so let us give an echo statement here data inserted successfully So now if you go to db connect let us just remove this we don't need it anymore and only echo statement we have given data inserted successfully so this will be the response from the ajax we are actually showing the response here using alert so let us test it now john do john at test.com test address click on submit data inserted successfully so let us see in the database so you can see the data is inserted here so our form submission using ajax is working so here we need to do some additional work here like form validation and we have to handle the error so if you click here just submit so it's giving an error it says uncaught mysql i exception duplicate entry because email id is already present and we are entering the same email id again and we have a unique constraints in the table so this is why the error is coming we have to do the exception handling here we will use try catch here give this within the try block and then give catch give exception dollar in so in case there is an error it will come in the catch section and here we will use echo dollar e get message so we are using try catch here in case there is any error automatically it will come in the catch block and here we are displaying the error so now let us see so if i click on submit so it says duplicate entry so this is still better and there is no data inserted if you see it's only one row here so now we have to do some form validation here all these values are mandatory and we will validate the email also so here we will use stream function so that it will remove the spaces from the input and then we will check if not empty dollar name and just copy this not empty dollar name and not empty dollar email and not empty dollar address if they are not empty then only we want to proceed for insert this try catch keep it within this if statement if the input values are not empty then only we want to insert the data in the database and else echo all fields are mandatory so refresh it and all the values are empty click on submit without entering anything let us click on submit it says all fields are mandatory so this validation is working fine 
and now we will validate the email format. Suppose I give test, test and test. In the email you see it is a test, it is not an email id and now click on it. So it says data inserted successfully even though it is not an email. If you check in the database, see this is test is inserted in the email field. We have to avoid this, so we have to validate the email format here. So once we know all the values are not empty, then we will check if now we will validate email. So we will use the filter var function here dollar $email. So filter var function in PHP will validate the email format if it is in the correct format using a filter called filter validate email. So using this filter we can verify whether the email is in correct format or not. So here if the email format is correct then only you want to use this try catch block. So keep this try catch within this if statement. And in case email format is not correct, give echo invalid email format. So let us test it. So test is the email, click on it, invalid email format. So it is not allowing. So if you see in the database, there is no data inserted, it is the old data. So let us just delete it and try to insert again, refresh, just give test, test, test. So in the email we have given a wrong email id, it is not actually email id, click on submit, invalid email format, see in the database, it is only one row. So it did not allow the this wrong email format to be inserted in the database. So our email validation is also working. Now if we give a correct email format, let us see test at test.com. If you see in the data, so we have john at test.com and if you refresh it, there is only one row and this is the email id. And now we are giving a different email id, test at test.com. Click on submit, data inserted successfully because we have given a correct email format click on it, data is inserted here. So our validation is working. So now instead of giving JavaScript alert here, we will use bootstrap alert to make it more user friendly. So here, we just give echo success. So if you see here, only in case of successful insert, the response will be success and for all other cases it will be some error. So this is error message, this is validation error, this is also validation error. So in index.php we will remove this alert, instead we will use if statement here. If response equal to success, else, so if response equal to success, str equal to and we will use bootstrap alert and give class equal to alert and here just copy this data inserted successfully give var and in the else part here instead of successful insert we will give error message whatever comes as response plus response and then we need to display this message whether success message or error message in the form. So let us give just before the form add a div and give id equal to message and we will display the message here. So come back here and here just give dollar has msg dot html give the message str and now we need to change a little bit here we need to add classes here for successful insert we need to display the error message in green so give 
alert success and for error we need to display we want to display the error message in red give alert danger so now let us test it now let us click on submit all fields are mandatory so you can see it is displaying bootstrap alert give the same email which is already in the database let's click on submit duplicate entry so it's not allowing let's see in the database we have two rows so let us give a different email id now test11 at test.com so it's a different email id click on submit so now you can see data inserted successfully and it is showing bootstrap alert so let's see in the database refresh it so you can see data is inserted here test11 at test.com our development is complete now so what we did we created an html form and used jquery ajax to submit the form we also did the form validation for all the inputs including email and displayed success and error messages using bootstrap alert i hope this will be useful to you if you like it please give it a like and share it with your friends and colleagues you can visit my website codehowto.com for many such topics in php coding writer and laravel check the video description for all the related links please subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you